Well, Chef Pfizer is now joining Moderna in saying it plans to test a booster shot of its vaccine at six months or a year after the first two doses. Now, as these new variants circulate, there's, of course, been concern that vaccines wouldn't work as well against them. And data last week from Novavax and Johnson & Johnson both showed lower efficacy in South Africa, where, of course, one of the most concerning new variants has been identified. But Pfizer CEO Albert Borla told me today they think their vaccine generates a strong enough immune response that it should work against these variants. And if needed, he said they can boost the response with another dose of the original vaccine. They are, though, working on backups just in case. Borla saying Pfizer wants to be able to develop a new vaccine within 100 days if needed, and the mRNA technology allows them to move quickly, Shep. And Meg, there's some promising vaccine news overseas we're hearing. Yeah, we got updates today on vaccines from Oxford University and AstraZeneca in the UK and on the vaccine from Russia known as Sputnik V. Now, both are already being used in those countries and others, so it's reassuring to see further results suggesting they do indeed work. Now, the Russian vaccine was shown to be 92 percent effective in preventing symptomatic COVID-19 in a trial of almost 20,000 people with no serious safety issues. The Oxford AstraZeneca results showed overall efficacy of 67 percent. But when the two doses were spaced 12 weeks apart, the efficacy went up to 82 percent, supporting the strategy adopted in the U.K. of spacing doses out to give more first doses of the vaccine. Now, the Oxford group also suggests their vaccine provides some protection three weeks after a single shot, out to three months, and that the two doses may cut down on transmission. Now, here in the U.S., the government has not contracted for the Russian vaccine, but it has ordered doses of the AstraZeneca one, and results from a large U.S. trial are expected in March. Shep. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.